Hey, we're almost finished with Movie Maker. In this video, we're going to add background music and our final step, exporting. All right, let's open up our project folder. And in my, just want to show you, in my sound folder, I have a bunch, all the narrations, but I have a music file in here that I want to add as my background music. It was that far.mp3. So I'm going to open up my Movie Maker file. And so this is my movie. Everything's pretty much finished. I have my all my audio and video and everything. So check out the music button. And I click that music button on the home directory. Notice I'm in my sound folder. Now and I gotta find that far.mp3. There it is. And I open that up. And now you can check it out. I have a green line uh, waveform of all the music that's playing. And I'm gonna hit that play button. Now you guys can't hear it, but I can hear it. It's, you know, it's, it's a nice background music it's playing. But it's a little bit too loud. So what I need to do is double click right on the, the green music track and it brings up my music tools under options. And again, I have this volume bar and I wanna push that down so that the narration is what is really important, not this background music. The background music is there to be in the background. So now it's much softer and, and the voice is much louder. I can sort of play around with this until I get it just how I like. Uh, double click on the narration soundtrack and it pulls up the narration options and narration has its own volume and I can raise that up if I want to too. So music has its editing options and so does the narration. So we have two tracks of audio. I'm double click back on the music. So I'm under the music options and I can set start and end points. I can make it fade in and out. Uh, I can set the start points and end points. So this all is a way to customize where and how this music will appear. There's also the split clip. If I click this, then it would basically divide the clip in two. So I could trim some off if I need to, or just make it end earlier than I wanted. So exporting, everything is ready to go. My music, my narration, my transitions, everything's ready. So let's export this so on the top menu. Look down here for save movie. All right, so let's take a minute and just talk about what save movie will do. So let's look at file format. Basically, there's two types of file formats. There's WMLP. This is your project or working file. And up until now, we've been working in this project file. We've been adding pictures and music and sounds and all that stuff. Now we're ready to show it to somebody. So we have to use this final product mp4 so when we're going to save this movie we need to save it as an mp4 just so we're clear wmlp we can make changes we can make edits and then when we're ready we export and mp4 we can't edit but other people can see it all right let's get back into movie maker and i'm just about ready to save this for my computer and when I do that, it's asking me where, and of course, I'm gonna save it in my desktop under my project folder, and I'll just save it right in the main folder, keep the title the same, and hit save. Now, guess what? It's gonna take a little time to do this. So as this is spinning through, let me just say, uh, the MP4 format we're making right now can be viewed on any computer, it can be uploaded into YouTube, it can be posted to Blackboard. This is the version that other people can see. So it may take a long time uh, to do this, depending on how much stuff you have. Looks like mine's finished, and I'm just going to open the folder just to show you guys. And that's basically it. We got my our, our final product ready, and I can send that off to whoever I want. I can rename it. I can do whatever I need to, but I can't change what's in it. If I want to change what's in the MP4, I have to go back to my original working file. That concludes our tutorials. I hope you enjoy making digital stories.